Hello everybody, today I'll be preparing corn soup and this is one of my favorite recipes. It's a complete meal on its own and a lot of people have requested for this recipe on my Facebook. This recipe is way too simple to prepare. All you need is sweet corn. Sweet corn is easily available in the market so you just need to purchase a packet of it and uh, give it a good wash and add it to a heavy bottom pot. And I've placed the flame on medium. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add half of an onion which is roughly chopped and also I'm going to add one chili and two pods of garlic. The recipe is way too simple. If you need you can definitely add a vegetable stock cube or a chicken stock cube. It's up to you. I did add a chicken stock cube and now I'm just going to add water. I've added about a glass of water and uh, please make sure that you do not add too much salt because the stock cube already contains way too much of salt so I did go ahead and add about half of a teaspoon of salt because that's all I'm going to add for the soup now I've just got this to a boil and made sure the corn is cooked nicely it took about 10 minutes or so once the corn has cooked I've just removed it from the flame and I've allowed it to cool just a bit so that I can add it to a mixer jar and grind it. Now, uh, before adding it to the mixer jar, I'm just going to go ahead and strain all of the liquid out. Because if you're going to go ahead and add the corn to the mixer jar, it's just going to fly all over the place. So I'm just going to go ahead and strain the stock out and add the corn to the mixer jar to make it into a puree. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and add the stock while you're grinding the corn. I did add the stock while I was grinding the corn into a smooth puree paste. Now I've gone ahead and I've used a strainer and uh, I'm just going to strain the corn puree. Um, this is very important. You need to follow the step because there is a plastic like skin over the corn which is not very edible and it's very not really good when you're going to serve the soup. I would prefer you just go ahead and strain all of it. Now once you finish straining it transfer it back to the same pot and bring it to a boil place the flame on low and I'm also going to go ahead and add about a glass of milk to this just to liquidize a bit and you can definitely go ahead and add cream if you wish to but um, I'm not gonna add cream because I'm going to go ahead and add butter the main ingredient in this recipe is butter if you do not add butter you will not have that flavor in your corn soup so corn and butter are best friends so make sure you definitely add butter to this if you're a health conscious person you can avoid it it's up to you but i prefer adding one and a half tablespoon of butter to this and i've also added white pepper powder so make sure you also add white pepper powder for this recipe so that it blends fast inside the soup and you don't have that uh, black pepper powder showing up so you know so that's the reason I've added uh, white pepper powder and it gives a good taste now I'm just going to get this to a boil and serve it up it's simple as that I've gone ahead and garnished it with some chili oil and served it with some croutons recipe is in my blog blog link will be posted in the description box below you can follow me on Facebook if you like this channel give it a thumbs up and subscribe I'll see you soon with the next recipe until then thanks for watching